there and welcome to this video. My name is Riley and today we're going to be looking at my top 5 coins for December 2017. Now I'm just going to pick my top 5 coins and then do a quick um, recap of what they are and why I think they're going to have a good December. And I want to preface this video first by saying that I'm not a financial advisor and this is my financial advice. This is just my personal opinion and um, only use this as one source of information when deciding whether you want to invest in a cryptocurrency or not. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so these aren't going to be in any, in any order, but the first coin I have down is Vertcoin. And for those who don't know, Vertcoin is a decentralized digital currency with the aim of establishing um, like a truly de decentralized proof of work currency. See, um, Bitcoin, even though it is a proof of work decentralized currency, there are things like mining pools and due, because of um, ASIC, ASIC mining chips, which have caused Bitcoin to become more centralized. However, Vertcoin wants to be ASIC resistant and instead it uses a GPU mining platform which actually increases decentralization. And so this is a really big thing among today um, in the cryptocurrency market. We saw, we've seen um, a lot of market manipulation lately with things like the episode with Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin, how people thought there was the, um, the cashing, the flipping, whatever you want to call it a couple of weeks ago. But it just showed, that showed us that there is uh, quite a big element to Bitcoin, uh, quite a big centralized element to Bitcoin, even though it is technically supposed to be decentralized. And why I think Vertcoin is going to have a good month, um, because it, uh, all these sort of uh, ASIC resistant GPU mineable coins like Vertcoin and Grosselcoin are becoming quite popular lately because of the things which have happened in the past few weeks. And so that's the first reason why I think it'll go well. The f other reason is soon it will be implementing um, other features, sort of things like uh, stealth addresses and mast, which is something that if you watch my Litecoin video, uh, something that Litecoin is about to implement or will implement in the future. And um, the probably the biggest thing is the Vertcoin community has just exploded over the last sort of couple of weeks. I first got onto the Vertcoin Twitter probably a couple months ago and it was probably, I think it was about 2,000 followers on their Twitter page. And last week, I think it was, I read a, a tweet from them that's saying they just gained um, 10,000 followers in one month. So they were at 20,000 followers. And this morning, I just checked their Twitter and they have over 50,000 followers now. So it's just exploded. And having a huge community and... Um, especially huge community growth means that there is much interest in the coin and it's a very positive sign for the future. Also just something else, um, Ethereum is about to go into, about to trial the proof of stake um, staging in its in its platform and once proof of stake goes live for Ethereum, a lot of the Ethereum miners will come to other coins like Vertcoin. So just keep that in mind. The next one is Litecoin and Litecoin for those who don't know, is a decentralized digital currency as well as Bitcoin and Bitcoin, and it's a software fork of the Bitcoin protocol. And for those who don't, um, who haven't watched my video, I am very uh, bullish on Litecoin. I really like Litecoin, and that is one of the main reasons is because it's had such manageable growth over the last year. You see, a lot of the cryptocurrencies have been quite up and down, quite volatile in their pro in their price growth. And this makes it hard to gauge where the value of the coin should actually be. And what it does is when you have stable growth like Litecoin, you get, um, you get higher and higher support levels um, for you to bounce off. And so you have a good idea of where it's heading and it gives it much more room to go upwards because it's got a higher base. And also Litecoin, just like Vertcoin too, has had much renewed interest from the community. If you go on Google Trends and look up um, light, the search for Litecoin, it has just spiked so much in the last sort of week or so. And so that's a really good sign. 
And also, just like Vertcoin is as well, um, Litecoin will be rolling out net Lightning Networks fully over the next sort of few months. And then after that, we'll, they will be implementing Mast. And if you don't know what Mast is, make sure to go check out my, Lightning, uh, my Litecoin video. My third one is IOTA. And IOTA is a distributed ledger technology. It's a new distributed ledger technology, well, compared to blockchain, um, which was designed to fulfill the framework for the Internet of Things, or the IoT. And how I said it's a new technology, it uses something called a tangle instead of a blockchain. And the reason I think it's going to have a really great December is IOTA has just announced, I think it was about a week ago, that they've partnershiped, they've created a partnership with Microsoft, Fujitsu, Fujitsu, Samsung, Bosch, Volkswagen, Cisco, and 20 other big companies to create the first de uh, decentralized marketplace for the Internet of Things, um, for Internet of Things data, that is. And this will enable the people to cash in on various data like like rudimentary things like weather station stats and more. And so this is huge. To see names like Microsoft, Samsung, Volkswagen, and all these other guys is just huge. And I don't think people really appreciate the, um, the size and um, the seriousness of a partnership like this because this will cause IOTA to really rock it. We have seen some good growth recently, but I do think as this unfolds over the next sort of month uh, to couple of months, we're going to see some really good growth in IOTA. My fourth cryptocurrency is Stellar Lumens. And for those who don't know, um, Stellar is an organization um, which, brings, which aims to bring low-cost financial services to everyone around the world um, in order to fight poverty. And so that's the, it's a non-for-profit organization, but then it also has Stellar, the protocol, um, which was founded by um, Jed McCaleb and Joyce Kim in 2014. And the native currency um, on Stellar is Lumens or XLM. And what they're doing, they've they've already launched their payment network. So that's their their product, and that's a really good thing because when you have a working product, it's you're you're backing a product. It's not a proof of concept. So they're much likely to succeed um, both in a company and as a um, cryptocurrency or an asset. And so they've put, they've uh, set up their network, um, even though it's in development across 12 different countries, which are mostly in Oceania, which is, for those who don't know, it's Australia, Melanesia, Micronesia, and Polynesia. Um, but they also have other regions. I think in the UK, they have set up some as well. And also the big one for Stella, which is re pretty recently too, they've now partnered with IBM um, to sort of deploy their network. And I, I chose this, IBM, I uh, use an example of how this could really help and um, impact people's lives like, poor, um, oh, I shouldn't say poor, I should say lower class people in developing countries. And they said a farmer in Samoa will able to be able to contact a buyer in Indonesia and use the blockchain to record everything from the farmer's collateral to letters of credit um, and payment, of uh, letters of credit to payment. And so this is just something to provide efficiency and a platform that these farmers and uh, any other sort of uh, businessman or businesswoman can use in order to help expand their business and achieve financial freedom, financial stability, um, and also develop a country's economy as a whole, which is a really exciting thing. That's another really big thing because you're really um, catching up the third world by doing this. And they've also, another partnership, they've also partnered with Satoshi Pay. And so for those who don't know, Satoshi Pay is a leading uh, micropayment and nanopayment processing company um, for cryptocurrencies. And they've uh, started to adopt Stellar as their official sort of primary platform. So that's another really big one. My last one is Power Ledger. And this one has been in the news a lot lately. Um, and it's been for good reason. Um, first, I did think this was like a bit of a hype thing, but then I looked into it and I realized, oh, this could actually have some really, really big applications and use cases. And so for those who don't know, Power Ledger hosts um, blockchain energy um, applications, such as a peer-to-peer -peer energy trading system, um, which allows businesses um, such as utilities 
to um, host uh, trading on their platform so you can trade energy and things like that, trade renewable energy that is. And this is a huge problem, the whole energy thing is a really big problem especially here in Australia. Our energy prices have just been skyrocketing the last few years and we need a problem to fix it and due to this the Australian government, the current, uh, the current Australian government has just given a grant of $8.6 million to the Power Ledger proce uh, project in order to conduct trials in Australia. And now this is um, this is a partnership with Origin Energy, um, is in Australia that is, and then they've also just been in talks with Tech Mahindra, which is a big company in India, to start trials. And this comes off the back of a successful trial with Vector Energy in New Zealand. And also they've uh, announced an, uh, the first European trial, which is, um, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Liechtenstein, um, the Liechtenstein Institute for Sustainable Development, um, who will be adopting the platform. And so when you, like I said before, you have a working product and when you have things like the government backing, that is a really huge thing. Even though it's just a trial, having a government backing you, a national government, is a huge, huge thing. So just keep that in mind. And so that's all my cryptocurrencies for today. I'd like to end the video here. And if you like this video or found it helpful, please leave a like and a comment below. And make sure to hit that subscribe button because I'll be bringing out future videos on all things cryptocurrencies and blockchain very soon. I'll catch you later.